Hey guys, my name is Billy Carson, and this is another episode on my YouTube channel. I'm going to talk about how to manifest uh, things into a reality, the actual process of doing that. What's happened is a lot of people have um, you know, gone through the motions of trying to operate in the law of attraction, but never really, really seeing the good result that they've been looking for. And a lot of people start contacting me saying, hey man, I've been trying to utilize the law of attraction, but I seem like I'm getting stumped. Things aren't happening as fast enough. Things aren't as consistent as, as I think they should be. What is it specifically, the, you know, the logistics, the mechanics of actually making this happen? So I said, you know what, let me make a video about this because obviously I've you know, gotten dozens of people requesting this information. It's time for me to help share uh, the mechanics of how this actually works, okay? I'm going to utilize something as an example from my own life that I, that I did, and it's, it's a house, okay? You may be looking to manifest a new car because your car's, you know, not working properly. You may be looking to manifest... Um, a new cell phone, you could be looking to manifest new clothes, whatever it is, whatever you're trying to manifest into the third dimension, it can even be um, things that aren't material. But I'm going to stick with something material because it's very easy to explain that way, and the mechanics behind it can be applied to anything. Okay, so if you're looking for a better relationship with your spouse, if you're looking for to find a spouse, if you're looking for you know a relationship, if you're looking for assistance assistance in other areas. This same technique can be used and applied to any area, any aspect of life in the third dimension, okay? Uh, but the first thing I want to talk about before we even get into the manifestation aspect and the mechanics behind that, the most important thing is going to be your vibration. You have to be vibrating at a high vibration before you start the manifestation process. And what do I mean by that? Well, very simple. Okay, you cannot come into um, a manifestation process uh, where you're trying to create your your reality tunnel in a favorable way for something that you're looking to acquire. If you're angry, frustrated, um, you know, in anguish, in sorrow, depressed, frustrated, all these things are going to destroy your manifestation capabilities and also are going to prevent you from creating your reality tunnel to go down the path that you'd like. Your results are going to be probably zero or very poor at best, okay? How do you get to a high vibration? A lot of people always ask me that as well. To get to a high vibration, the most important thing is you must be in a mode, in a mindset of unconditional love coming right from the heart. Unconditional love for everyone in the entire universe. That's the most important thing. And what does that mean? It means that if somebody cuts you off in traffic, you bless them and say it verbally out loud. I hope they get to their destination safely. If somebody at work is pissing you off, you bless them and say, I hope that they wake up and realize uh, the ill ways that they're operating in right now. But until then... Uh, I, I wish the best for that person. Don't let your physiology change to an angry or frustrated mindset. Uh, if you're having difficulty at home with your children or with your spouse or anything, always maintain a positive mindset. Always bless that person or people and verbally say it. You don't have to say it in their face. You can say it behind closed doors or you know when you walked away or whatever. But make sure you speak it because words have power over the ether of space time. Speak that positive affirmation, but really, truly mean it. Don't be like, oh, I hope they make it to their destination. No, I hope they make it to their destination safely. I mean, I really, they really must be in a rush to cut me off like this. Maybe they, maybe they didn't see me. Maybe somebody in the vehicle is sick. Maybe it's a pregnant lady getting ready to have a baby. I don't know their situation in that vehicle. All I know is I got cut off. I didn't die. I saved myself. I'm okay. Everybody in my car is okay. They're on their way. I hope that from this point forward, they make it safely to their destination. You don't have to pray about it and, and say amen and all this other kind of stuff. All you got to do is say that. That's all you got to do. With a positive thought in your mind, a positive affirmation towards that person or people for whatever it is, people who have done something to you, something, somebody came and messed up your work at the office and you got to start all over again from scratch. Whatever it is, somebody's backstabbing you, whatever it is. I'm not saying to, 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 to be their best friend still and be up in their face and hanging out with them. But what I'm saying is, Bless them, stay positive on the inside, walk away and do what you got to do, maintain your physiology, do what you have to do. This is really important, guys, because I'm telling you, if you're trying to get into a mode of manifesting reality and you are in a negative mindset, you're not going to be able to get the results you're looking for. This is really, really important. Help people, find a way to help people. It's another part of it. Uh, whether it's, uh, you don't have to be rich to do this, whether it's giving somebody something to eat, uh, finding out if there's a relative that's elderly or a friend of yours that's elderly that needs you to pick up some stuff from the store on your way home and drop it off to their house so they don't have to get in their wheelchair and uh, you know, all this kind of stuff to get out to a vehicle to get to the store. You just go, hey, 
you need me to bring home some laundry detergent or something for you or some snacks or anything from Walmart or, or, or the grocery store or wherever? And they say, oh, yes. Oh, what do you need? Boom. Bring it to them. You see? Uh, that's a mitzvah. That's something good that you can do for people. Little things like that. Every single day, try to find a little way to help people, little ways you can. It doesn't have to, doesn't have to be monetarily, but any way you can find, try to find it, whether it's just holding the door open for some, somebody. If you see an, an elderly person coming out of a, a, a restaurant, helping them to their car, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is, just find a way to be all in the positive mindset, always looking to assist and be of service to others. That's going to put you in a high frequency mindset automatically, automatically, okay, automatically. The next thing is I try to eat clean, eat, eat healthy, positive vibe food, try not to eat negative vibe food, try, try to stay away from food that's been tortured because that tortured energy is not going to enter into your body. Remember, when you're eating that food, there's DNA in the food and that DNA carries memories. Like I've said before in many vi videos here, and, uh, and it's been scientifically proven that DNA stores memories. It's not even a mystery. It's peer-reviewed science. It's real science, guys. Microsoft has created the first DNA hard drive. One gram of DNA can store 700 terabytes of data, and now they've maximized that to 433 petabytes of data on one gram. A human body can store 13.5 billion years of information in digital bits of information that can be uploaded and downloaded from computers. Okay, yeah. So, guys, really important. Try to stay away from tortured meat. Tortured meat, tortured food uh, can lead to adding un inadvertently negativity into your body. And you won't even know it's there. You won't even know it's happening and why things are not going right. It's because of that negative vibe. So if you love to eat meat or like to eat meat, if you're trying to manifest something, you may want to take a break from that for a little while during the manifestation process. I'm just, just a recommendation if you were looking for the maximum results. It's not about being a vegan and all this other stuff. It's about trying to achieve the goal. And I'm telling you the steps you need to take. Whether you like them or not, that's up to you. Okay? The next step that you're going to need to take uh, is so uh, you've got the high frequency vibration. You're not eating any tortured uh, food. So now you've got, you're maintaining that positive energy in your body that you've already been created through positive karma and nothing is there to tear it down. Any, no outside forces can come in and destroy the energy flow that you're building up now to help towards this manifestation. The next thing is you need to be extremely specific with what you are trying to manifest. And I mean extremely, extremely specific. I was talking to a guy the other day and he was telling me that, hey man, I'm having trouble manifesting this, uh, this vehicle that I need. My other car is about to literally die. I need a new car and I'm trying to find a car and it's, I've been thinking about it, but nothing's happening. So I started going over the manifestation process with him like I'm doing with you guys now. And I got to this point and I said, okay, Tell me about the car. What kind of car is it? He goes, oh, well, you know, I don't really know yet. Something in the $20,000 to $25,000 range. Something that's really affordable that I can get around in. I said, oh, no, I know. I, okay, that's fine. I need to know specifically the year, the make, the model, the color, the interior, the dashboard, the steering wheel. What kind of sound system is it going to have? Does it play CDs and DVDs or is it just MP3s? Does it have an aux button in it? What type of wheels? What size rims? Uh, you know, I need all this information. He goes, wow. I said, yeah, you've got to be specific, extremely, extremely specific, or it's not going to be able to get the best results. You can't just be like, oh yeah, I want, I want a car. Well, there's a, there's thousands of cars out there. The universe needs you to be extremely specific. Your energy needs to be on point and focused to a bottleneck to where it's going boom, right to the exact the thing you're looking for. Okay. You got to be specific. So I said, look, you need to call, you need to find out the, the year, the make, the model, the color, you need to go test drive these cars, figure out the one that you exactly want. When you get that one, take pictures inside, outside, under the hood. Take all the notes on the vehicle. Read the vehicle description. Print that out. Take a copy for yourself and read through that vehicle description every single day, verbally out loud. Look at the color, say the color. Look at the interior, say what type of interior it is. Is it plush uh, material? Is it leather? What color is it? Is there an armrest, two cup holders in the front, one cup holder in the back? Uh, an auxiliary input, an MP3 outlet, a video DVD player combination, navigation screen, whatever it is. I got, uh, you know, 19 inch tires uh, with these types of wheels on them, uh, whatever. Okay. Specific, specific, specific. Is it an LE model, an LX model, an X model? What's the model number? You need to know that too. And when you get it honed down to the specific information, 
That's what you hone in on. That's what you focus in on. That's what you speak verbally every single day. That's what you read the information about that particular item. Give you an example about myself. I was trying to manifest this house. So uh, not only did I go looking at houses until I found the one that I really liked, but I actually went to visit the property. Uh, went inside the property, you know, went around with the realtor and everything else. Oh, yeah, this, is, this is definitely the house that I, that I want. Out of all the houses, this is the one. I can see myself living here. The next step was to take all the information from the realtor, okay? I knew that this would be a, 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 a huge deal because I was trying to negotiate a cash deal because I don't want to pay interest. I don't want to get robbed by Rockefeller and Rothschild. I don't want them to take my money. I want to be able to just own the property outright, get my deed. So it's a negotiation process that has to take place and it's got to fit into the amount of finances I have available to make that cash offer, okay? So meanwhile, you know, to get this manifesting to work out into my favor, I've got now the book on the house. I've got all the um, the accessories and all the information about the property, everything that comes with the property, uh, all the amenities in the property. I've got pictures. I got 70 different photographs that were taken. I have all that now downloaded. I've printed out pictures of the house on my own computer, even though I had pictures. I reprinted some of them myself, put it in frames, put it up on my wall, took the main picture of the property, put it on my screen lock on my cell phone, the screen lock on my laptop. So every time I open up my phone, open up my laptop, the first thing I was seeing was that property. Okay, that's how real this has to become, God. You got to live in it. You got to get into this, this mode. You got to get into this manifestation mode. It's about all about breaking the matrix code and making the matrix bend to your will. This is literally what you're doing. You're literally casting a spell on the ether of space time. It's really what it is. Throughout the day, I'm saying I'm getting this house. Just around me, nobody around me. I'm buying this house. I'm buying this house. I'm going to be living in this house. Now, I've got the process of. I know everything that's in the house. I know every single amenity, every single accessory, all the information about the pool. What type of pool system is it? What type of service visits it needs? I've even contacted the realtor at that time and said, I need to get all the current owner, all the list of all their expenses and bills to maintain this property. I want to see it all. Till now, I've taken those bills and expenses on as my own in my mind. In my mind here in my temple, not the temples out there, not the fake places, the real place in the temple is inside. This is where the magic works, guys. It's right here. This is where the magic happens. You got to take a journey to inner space. I'm taking on all the expenses. Now, I know what my bills are going to be every single month for the pool service, for the electricity service, for the yard maintenance and upkeep, uh, for window service, for maid service, for chefs and cooks, whatever I need. I know all the fees and all the prices now. Everything's in my mind that these are my expenses. I've taken on these as physically, in my mind, mine. I, I own these now. Okay? I know what the taxes are. I know what the, the property insurance is and all that. Okay? I won't need mortgage insurance because it's cash property, so there's no mortgage. So the insurance is going to be lower. I know what the association fees are. All these fees now I've taken into consideration and said these are my fees. These are these. Are, this is my, my my bills that I'm going to have to pay on a monthly basis. Now, so I've gotten to the extremely specific part. Now the next part is I'm going into my manifestation, uh, uh, you know, mode. So I'm going to go now. Boom! Manifestation meditation. Now, now I'm going to go into my meditation. Now there's a couple of meditations that I do. Sometimes I do a manifestation where I, I, I'm sorry, a meditation where I empty in my mind and let the cosmic energy in, okay? Some other meditations that I'll do is I'll just meditate in the shower, uh, meditate for positive, uh, positive feelings, positive affirmations, positive vibes, and I'll say my positive affirmations while I'm in the shower, perfect time to say them, getting your day going, getting your day started. If it's going to bed when you're doing it, same thing. You go to sleep with a clear mind, a clear conscience with powerful energy inside of you, and you wake up feeling refreshed. And the other type of uh, meditation I'll do is during exercise. Exercise is actually a form of meditation, just like yoga or anything else. I can get into a meditative mind mindset when I'm doing exercise or playing a sport. But for this, you want to be into a manifestation meditation. So what is that? A manifestation meditation, you don't have to be sitting in the lotus position. You could be anywhere where it's nice and quiet. You need some peace and quiet because you want to be able to focus. Because this type of meditation, you really are focusing in and thinking about the particular object or thing uh, that you're trying to acquire, okay? So in this particular situation, I would be thinking about the house. I physically, in my mind, I see myself walking up to the property, putting the lock in, unlocking the door, opening the door, walking in, not as a visitor. I'm walking in the door as if it's my house that I live in already. I'm home. When I go in that house, in that meditation, I'm actually home. I drop my keys on the rack. You know, I put my laptop case in my office. I walk around, say hi to everybody. I sit down on the couch for a few minutes. I get a, you know, I get, I get a drink of uh, some uh, iced tea, my, one of my favorite drinks. Sip on that, put it down, maybe pick up a magazine, read through a couple of pages. Get up, walk out, look out the backyard, you know, check out the view. 
walk back in the house, check on the mail, open up the mail and go through a couple of different mail letters, see which is important, which is not important. I mean, this is real stuff you're thinking in your mind. This is this is how you have to be. You know, go upstairs, get cleaned up, lay back on the couch for a minute upstairs, maybe walk out on the balcony, take in some fresh air, come back in, dinner's ready, eat some food, eat dinner. I mean, all this I'm walking through the whole process, guys, in my mind, it's true reality. I've taken it into the consciousness platform and it really does truly exist there. Okay? It's not imaginary, it's not etheric, it's not mystical, it's not mystery, it's real. It's real to me. The next level from there is so I've done this manifestation meditation sometimes two, three, sometimes four times in a day. Okay? And these are the things you have to do to be extremely specific. I'm vibrating at a high frequency. I'm blessing people. I'm using unconditional love towards people of all types, all races, all sizes. I'm helping people. I'm creating positive karma. I'm happy all the time. I'm not negative and withdrawn and angry and frustrated and pissed off and worrisome and, and scared and all this other kind of crazy stuff. I'm in that positive mindset, positive flow, positive flow consistently. It's like a, it's like a rhythm you get into. I'm doing the manifestation meditations. I'm being extremely, extremely specific on what I'm looking for. Why? Because we're in the matrix. You got to meet power with power. You can't go in weak. You can't go in, oh man, I'm thinking about this and I hope this can happen. And I wish this is going to work out for me. And no, all you got to do is man is going with power and speaking positive affirmations. Write down the attributes, some of the main key attributes about the thing you're trying to acquire and speak them out loud throughout the day, randomly. Just speak them out loud randomly, wherever you are. If somebody says, huh? So don't worry, I'm talking to myself. If you see me talking to myself, don't worry, I'm getting expert advice. That's what, that's what you tell them, okay? And you stay focused on your goal. These are the things you got to do. Now, here's the next part that's going to happen. And one of the most key pieces to the whole puzzle. Now that you're in this positive energy mode, you're literally warping the matrix with positive affirmations, positive vibes, and the power of thought and manifestation, now the matrix is starting to ripple and bend. Okay, you're creating ripples in space time that's going to change your own future reality. This is what you're doing. Okay, you're time traveling. You're literally time traveling. This is without even knowing it. This is what's happening. Now the key thing is is to be prepared for opportunities as they arise to meet to reach that end goal that you need to make to make that manifestation occur. There's going to be opportunities that are going to open up for you, doors that are going to open, situations that are going to occur, offers that are going to be made. And now you need to be able to recognize them. A lot of people get to this point and fail to have the intuition to recognize the opportunities that are being set before them to help them accomplish their goal. Okay? This is key. This is like really key. Your intuition has to be operating at a high state. Like I said, guys, you got to be ready in here. You got to be able to have intuition. You got to be able to recognize what's being offered to you. Okay? There could be a situation that pops up an opportunity for a new gig or a new presentation or a, a new uh, you know proposal that's needed to acquire this or acquire that, which is going to pay you X amount, uh, even maybe an increase in salary at the current job you're at if you take this additional position. All different doors and uh, windows are going to start to open. But what happens when windows and doors open? They also close. Nothing stays open forever. Windows open, windows close. Doors open, doors close. You got to jump through those windows and those doors, those doors before they close. That's the key to this whole thing. You have to be able to understand that because you're going to need those opportunities and those situations to be able to take advantage of to get to the end goal of manifestation. That's the part that really it gets really tricky for people having the intuition to recognize the opportunities. There's an old parable that goes like this. Guy went out in his boat, went fishing, didn't tell anybody where he was going, just decided he was going to go out, went way out in the ocean looking for fish. He kept trying to find fish in areas, different areas he couldn't find any. Went way out there. All of a sudden, the boat started to capsize. Boat had a malfunction. Boat began to capsize. It actually sank. He's on a life raft. He's out there paddling. Two, three days go by. Nobody's coming. He has no way of calling anybody. Nobody knows he's even out there. Okay? They're probably wondering where the heck he is. They're probably scouring the city looking for him. Cell phone's probably dead and everything else. Now what happens? A boat comes by. Says, hey, man, how long you been out there? Throws a life raft out to him. Hey, get, grab onto this life raft. We're going to pull you in. He goes, oh, no, no, no. I've been praying to God. God's going to save me. I got faith. God's going to save me. The boat goes, come on, man. We're here. Get on the, get on the life raft. The guy denies it. They go, wow. Okay. They, they pull off, man. They pull up their anchor, man. They pull off and leave him out there. Another week goes by. He's really hurt now. The, the raft is getting holes in it. It's starting to sink. He's getting dehydrated. He's exhausted. Another boat comes by. Hey, man. They throw a life raft out. Hey, man. Grab onto this life raft, man. We're going to pull you in, man. How long you been out here, buddy? The guy's like, oh, no, no. I've been praying to God. God's going to save me. They go, come on, man, get on the life raft. He's like, no, I, I'm not getting on. I've got faith. 
They go, wow, they pull the life raft back in, pull up their anchor, they take off. Now, another week goes by. This guy is literally dying. The, 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 the life raft he was on is already completely sunk. He's doggy padding, but he's going up, he's going down. He's just trying to catch breath as he goes. He's literally near death at this moment. Another boat pulls up. They're trying to grab him and pull him out. He's drowning to death. They're like, come on, man. He goes, no, God's going to save me. God's going to save me. The guy drowns and dies right there, denying that third helper. Okay. He wakes up in another dimension. He's in heaven now. He sees God. He says, hey, I was drowning in the middle of the ocean. Why didn't you save me? I prayed and prayed and prayed. God said, you idiot. I sent you three boats. <laughs> you see? This is where the intuition has come in. We got to recognize these opportunities, guys. We have to recognize these opportunities when they present themselves to us and we have to jump on them. We can't have that. We can't play around with them. We can't dilly dally. We got to analyze them immediately, figure out the potential of it, figure out what's going to happen if you do this or you do that, or if you accept or not accept or whatever. And then when you realize what it is, you got to make decisions and then you got to go power to power. Okay. And that's the final part of the puzzle recognizing that because that's going to put you in a position to get to that final bottleneck that you need to be able to acquire that manifestation. And that's the full process of manifestation into the third dimension, an object or a thing or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest into your reality tunnel. That's the full process you need to take and you need to be very consistent with it. It takes time and it takes practice. It's not something that's going to instantaneously pop to you and happen. Some people it will, some people it might not. Because it's those steps that got to take place and there's a learning process. And as you begin to learn it, you get better and better and better. Right now, I operate in full abundance 24-7. I operate in full abundance. Does it mean I have a billion dollars in the bank in my personal name? No. But what it means is I live in total abundance 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Whatever I need, all my needs are met. Whatever I need to acquire, I can acquire it. Whatever needs to happen, it's going to happen. Okay? And this is what you need to be able to do to utilize the law of attraction in the proper way. Utilize manifestation, meditation, utilize positive frequency, positive energies, vibrate at a high vibration so you can sync with universal consciousness and then be able to have the intuition to recognize the opportunities as they take place, as they, as they presented themselves to you from the universal consciousness directly into your life so that you can manifest the reality that you're looking for. All right. Remember this stuff, man. Write it down. Take notes. Play this video back as many times as you can. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I plan on making a lot more videos for self-help self-help and many other uh, videos that I'll probably be talking about ancient civilizations, advanced technology, and everything else. Also, you can catch my new show on Dame-Studios. That's Dame-Studios.com. That's on the Dame-DTV network. I'll be doing some videos there. And of course, you know that you can find me on some videos on Gaia, G-A-I-A TV. All right. So I appreciate you guys. Much love from Forbidden Knowledge.